Hey all and welcome to Flow Themes. We're super excited to introduce you to our Flow Forms plugin, which is an easy to use drag and drop contact form builder for your WordPress website. We have created this plugin to allow you the possibility to build custom contact forms that you can effortlessly add inside your WordPress site, whether on your pages or inside your blog posts. The plugin does come within two versions, which is the free version and the pro version. Both of these are packed with a lot of features um, and uh, Inside the free version, you'll find multiple field, uh, field types, conditional logic, email reminders for unread entries, dashboard notifications for unread entries, Google CAPTCHA, submission confirmation email for client, thank you message or page redirect on submission. Uh, all entries are saved inside your WordPress dashboard. So that means uh, if for any reason you have not received a notification via e your email, you can always log into your site and find all the entries saved there. And of course, we also have a Gutenberg blog which allows an easier way and a quicker way to integrate your uh, form inside pages and inside your blog posts. Within our pro version, we have enhanced the features. So there's a lot packed inside, um, including uh, integrations. So we do have a built-in SMTP to allow uh, better email delivery. You have predefined templates. That means you can choose from templates that are already created there for you uh, just to have a quicker start or save your own contact form as a template so that you can use that across the site later on. Um, you have options to um, add custom fonts and Google fonts, and, and you have a separate field for all styling options, including your uh, fields, buttons, fonts inside the form, and so on. Uh, we have a specific new field inside our pro version, which is the file upload option, uh, allowing your users to upload files whenever they um, inquire. And of course, as I've mentioned, we do have integrations packed inside the pro version, uh, Tave and ShootQ integration, Slack and SMS integration via Twilio, and MailChimp integration. And of course, we're working on new integrations to improve the plugin uh, further. So the great thing about integrations is actually if you choose to use the free version, uh, you can always add the integrations um, as a separate add-on just for a one-time uh, fee. So. Um, whether you decide to go with the free version and use it for free forever or the pro version um, uh, that is $49 per year, uh, what will happen when you install and activate the plugin um, is that inside your site, you'll have two new tabs, which will be your flow form setting. Here you'll find settings that uh, apply across all of your forms that you create and also the flow forms tab. Here we'll leave all of your forms that you create, you'll add new forms here, and also that's where your all of your entries, uh, entries will be saved inside uh, WordPress. Um, so I'm here in the free version right now. You will notice is that any feature that is uh, pro, it will be labeled as such. You can easily go ahead and upgrade if that's something that you want to do in order to benefit from this uh, features inside the plugin. So if you're inside the pro version, you will have access to the custom fonts tab and here uh, you are able to add uh, Google fonts um, to that you can later on use inside your form specifically or you can also upload custom fonts so that means you have full control on how to stylize your forms uh, fonts across um, across the site so one thing that is uh, common uh, for the uh, old versions is sending a test email. So here you can just add your email to test if your uh, hosting and server sends emails okay from the site itself. So that just troubleshooting um, and making sure that the form, um, form is sending inquiries as it should. Um, so let me just go back to the free version over here. Um, as I mentioned, the second tab that will appear is your uh, forms tab, flow forms tab. And here, if you already have a um, forms uh, created, you'll see them listed out here. But of course, if you want to create a new one, you'll just click on add new form. And you'll just start creating your form um, and building it out based on the needs that you have. You'll just click on the fields that you want to have inside your form and start, start building that out. Uh, reordering uh, fields if required based on uh, your uh, order of 
um, of fields over here. Um, then inside each field, you'll find options to edit your field label, placeholders, default values, uh, field width in case you want to have those 50-50 uh, or kind of creating a um, um, specific sections uh, as side-by-side um, -side fields and so forth. So inside form settings, you'll find also the recipient emails. Um, so that will be your email, email subject. Um, you can also right away set if it's a one column um, form or two columns. Uh, if it's a two columns, that will be a setting, a general setting across the form. Um, you can also have confirm confirmation options, whether a message or redirect to a specific page. Um, and you can also send a confirmation email to your uh, user and you can personalize the copy and that will be sent to your, um, to your um, user that inquired. What you will find in this uh, free version specifically is also the styling tab. Again, as I've mentioned, that is a pro version and uh, it is labeled as such. But let's go ahead and check what is hiding inside this tab so we can see all of the, uh, all of the features inside. Um, and here, what you'll notice is a lot of different uh, settings for your fonts, uh, padding, colors, and uh, button uh, settings. So for fonts, you can go ahead and start editing for each uh, font type inside your field, like your labels, placeholders, hint font, button font, uh, and select from those Google fonts or custom fonts that you have uploaded in the settings initially. Um, and then you can change the sizing, line height, letter spacing, and the styles, bold, italic, or underscore. So a lot of great options here. The padding is related to all of the um, uh, spacing around um, the uh, fields, uh, left, right, top, and bottom. The same for mobiles. So you can play with that as well. And that is specifically um, noticeable if you do have uh, background colors. For example, for the whole form, you can choose to have a background color as such. Um, so depending how also your site looks so you can customize the look um, to make sure that everything is aligned and then we also have specific styling options for the button uh, color hover effect background uh, border color and so forth and width of the bottom and all the different paddings uh, for the button itself um, and um, yeah that's pretty much it in terms of the styling tab over here in the uh, flow forms uh, pro version what you can also do is pick a template you we have four templates, two more complex ones, and uh, um, two uh, simpler ones. And you can also save your own templates uh, over here. You can always have access to that whenever you start a new a new form or whenever you're already editing. Just know that once you apply the template, all of the work that you have done previously will be overwritten. Um, so. If you have come across any questions in terms of the uh, forms uh, building and um, how to use specific features, you can always access documentation um, over here and uh, you will find all the general information, uh, specific uh, features inside the pro version, all of the integrations, troubleshooting and GDR compliances as well. So um, everything is covered inside our documentation. So do please um, check this out to help you with uh, the form in case you come across any questions. Uh, one thing that I did want to show also in the form in the pro version is that we have the uh, upload option which allows your user again to upload a file. Um, and one other great thing is the all of the integrations that you can find inside uh, the uh, pro version um, packed as the uh, as the plan that you buy, or you can buy integrations separately if you are inside your free version. So we have Mailchimp integration um, that you can set up with your API key. We have Slack integration, which allows you to receive messages inside your Slack channel, and we have Twilio SMS integration, which allows you to receive notifications whenever somebody submits um, submits an inquiry through, through your form. So you always are aware whenever you have any inquiries coming in which is always great. That means you can um, reply to your potential customer right away when required.
And then the rest of integrations you will find under flow form settings uh, and specifically your shoot queue integration, tab integration and Excel export, allowing you to export all of your data uh, of your entries. And finally, all of your entries will be stored inside your dashboard. And you'll find them here based on the title of the form, um, the user emails, and so forth. So uh, all of that information is within your dashboard and is never lost. Um, that's available as well, of course, inside the, um, the free version uh, over here. So all of that is, um, is common between the two versions. That's pretty much it about our Flowforms plugin. Just a quick overview of everything that you can find inside. Again, as mentioned, um, please do check documentation where we uh, describe each of the features and each of the steps um, inside the free version and the pro version. If you are um, looking for a specific integration that is not yet available, do let us know um, on our add-on page over here and request um, an integration. We are uh, working on a Zapier integration at the moment of this video being recorded. Uh, so uh, we're always extending and improving the plugin to make sure that um, building forms on your site, on your WordPress site, is an uh, easy and functional, and most importantly, uh, fun. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you around.